My name is Danielle Matar and I volunteer at the OSPCA branch in Newmarket. I started to volunteer probably, I think about six months ago, really recently, but I've always rescued animals, so I would, all of my rescues are from here, so I was really interested in helping them out. I'm an animal activist, I really enjoy animals, and um, I wanted to volunteer in the community with some of my extra time, and I just figured that this was the best way for me to have a thousand animals in my house without actually bringing them home. Yeah. So I mean, like, I, I really, I get solace in like coming here and making sure their beds are clean and, you know, helping out and getting to spend time with them and socialize them. So I really enjoy that. Are you good? Yeah? Okay. In a typical day, I um, really just kind of go around and I ask any of the employees here, the girls, what they need help with. You know, do they need me to clean the cat rooms? Do they need to empty cat litters? Do they need me to walk the dogs? Uh, most of the time, they ask us to do socializing with them, so I usually go from room to room and hang out with them and just kind of do a little cuddling. The OSPCA, they're the voice of animals in the community, you know, they're the hub. They associate with tons of other organizations and lots of rescues, and they are here to protect animals. They're a huge asset to the community, and it's a safe haven for them, and it's nice to know that they constantly have protectors. Declines never recommended. Um, cats need to scratch, you know, it's just basically anchoring their scratching to appropriate behaviors. Puppy mills, on the other hand, they're detrimental. Um, they're a way of using animals to make a buck, and they affect the animals in here that we get from puppy mills it, significantly. She has a little bit, a little lump underneath her, so that's why she's not being adopted out just yet. See so yeah, that little lump? So they're just fixing her up, right? That's right, give her the little finger. I get to play with animals all day, which is something that I'm absolutely crazy about. What I gain is, I guess, a sense of peace, you know? I know that, you know, I know how protective I am over my animals, and I, it's nice to know that there's a whole community out there that, that do the same, and um, that's, when I'm here every day, I get to see their work, and I get to see their dedication, and it makes me feel good. Like, I, I feel great, and I, I really feel that, you know, animals are protected here, and their best interests are kept as a priority, so it's really great. <laughs>